Hello fellow explorers, we are Martin, Sharon and Taylor, better known as Sailing Trinity, an Irish Aussie family who dared to escape the ordinary. We abandoned jobs, university and the mundane, selling everything we owned to chase a life of freedom aboard Trinity, our Genoa Sound Odyssey 50DS. When life's storms rage on, do you seek shelter in the safety of the harbour or set sail into the unknown, trusting in your own resilience? Last week saw the final episode of our Winter Haul Out series. Series, a five-part tale documenting a complete transformation of Trinity's engine, keel, hull, windows, and deck. All thanks to having our boat resurveyed after being sold a bit of an unexpected fixer-upper. Don't miss the chance to show your support by liking and subscribing. Your encouragement keeps the channel and crew going strong. To our dedicated audience, thank you for being here once again. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. We cherish connecting with you guys. Join us this episode as stormy weather, both forecasted and unexpected create a series of different challenges aboard our boat within our boat and away from our boat on a different pontoon altogether it was a challenging week indeed but most definitely not an uneventful one without further ado let's dive right in and escape the ordinary together this is Mary Poppins <laughs> Wow, super windy. Oh, I was coming through that. Let me need to. <laughs> it's a quite large hail, aren't they? Oh, look. There's a little one. Wow. I have not seen hail since we're in Australia. Well, Mum also just got a package. Look at this. I picked it all out. That's more in business. Well, we're gonna be freezing now, so at least we have some yummy. It's still open still. Yeah, that's okay. We did try our best. Got a bisco in there. Oh well. It smells good though. How do you feel about all the rain? It's good. I like it. I Look like at the rain. hail. Oh, that's cool. Oh. Oh, far out. I think the fish are getting murdered. I hope the dogs are okay. Wow. Go on, Spider Man. Oh, what's the name of that bird, Dad? The species? I think it's a cormorant. There's a cormorant or a heron. And he's always around. And he's going for a dive now because I bet some poor fish he just got. Yeah, that's Bamboozled. Like... It's hard to oh. see. He's a common. Look, there's a zip. Look, there he is diving. Oh, he's funny. He's here all the time. He's an opportunist. I support him. Sugar, look at it all over the, the ground. You can see it. Hail everywhere. Missed him diving again. Oh, we've had a few leaks. We had a lot, a lot of leaks fixed over the last few months. But, um, Still a few. I think we actually had to take the bimini down because of the storms and I believe that that's created quite a few weak spots that aren't covered so when it rains it comes into the boat but it's yeah, not in the like Crazy little leaks. Crazy little leaks. Turns out Trinity isn't the only boat in the marina suffering from weak spots. We just received an urgent text from a friend on a neighboring pontoon. He's asked us to run over and help him with a potentially damaged boat, whose captain is currently half a world away from Greece and his vessel. Let's check in. This bad weather, we're all kitted up. We're about to head over to a boat. Uh, a friend of ours that lives in the marina, he's actually he's, he's gone off to the UK or Australia or something at the moment. You'll see, you'll see what's happened in a minute, but I believe that his boat is broken. So we're gonna go have a, have a look. Yeah. Okay. I'm terrible at platformers. Check it out, check it out. Check yeah. It Be careful. 
Yeah. Sure, we need this. I'm gonna get this out of the way. Okay. Okay, fam, I think it happened. Yeah. 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 We don't want it to fall. Oh, no. Rot. Gangplank came, became disconnected in the wind. Oh, sorry. I'm bad about it. <laughs> and it went through the, the porthole, as you could see. But it wasn't broken. It didn't force an entry. I think it had been unlocked. And the pressure just popped it open um, as they are designed to move in such a way. So it's nothing of major concern. But I'm just glad everything's all right because Jim is far away. <laughs> so it's not like he'd be able to come and help. But yeah, we got <laughs> with the help of our Swiss friends as well. After finding Jim's boat, thankfully barely damaged. Now stand aside, worthy adversary. Tis but a scratch. A scratch? Your arm's off. No, it isn't. Well, what's that then? The crew decided to have a quick debrief and a break from the woeful weather within the shelter of their favorite local cafe. I laid the boat hooks down because I walked into the coffee shop with them. It probably looked like I was trying to rob the place. So I took the passive route. Left <laughs> them outside. Wow, that's a great view of my face. We're just gonna have some coffee now and sit down. It's been pretty heavy weather actually for a couple of days, but you can't complain. It's, this is like every day in Ireland, maybe bar the crazy wind, but the gray and the rain. Love Ireland, my home. But also at the same time, we can't complain. <laughs> it's still beautiful sunny days here, and the cold isn't anything. We can't deal with, you know? So, yeah, we're grateful, happy to be living. I mean, I feel like there's something primal about being subjected to elements. Like, I know we still have the protection of a boat, but all in all, like, we are, we do feel it a lot more. Like, houses don't move in the wind, <laughs> boats obviously do. <laughs> so, I don't know, I feel like there's something, it's igniting our, our primal. I hope we don't start chanting around a fire or anything of the sort. Maybe we should start studying people that live on boats, like their level of likeness to Neanderthals. Am I just like pass offending myself? I'm gonna stop talking because I'm talking to you. There's dad pondering as usual. And here's mum on her way up. <gasps> the goods have arrived. Hey! Thank you so much. Thank you kindly to Russell who bought us a coffee this week. For those wondering, we've set up a Buy Me A Coffee page to give you an opportunity to support the channel in a new way. The best part? No sign up needed and with various payment options available, it's super convenient. With a personal message or without, you can contribute in any way that feels just right for you and we'll feature you on the channel in our next video. Cheers to our incredible Sailing Trinity community. See you over there. Re-energized, let's see if Trinity is doing quite as well as her caffeinated crew. Oh, do you hear that creaking? I'm rubbing. Certainly some storms in Greece. Clattering and banging and boats and all sorts. Crew just having a little, just had a family coffee together. It's not as windy as it was the other night, but it's pretty windy. Can you hear that creaking? It's enough to drive a woman crazy. It makes me feel so dramatic. All bad right now, look at this. It's a little bit shorter than what the stern is, but you probably need it to be a little bit in any way. Yeah, it looks better. It's not swaying out as much at the bow there. Yeah, that's <laughs> the camera's near to get blown out of my hand. Alright, I'm going back inside.
In marinas, stormy weather and debris pose significant threats to boats and their toilet piping systems. Debris accumulation can lead to clogs and damage within these systems, causing inconvenience and potential structural issues. Additionally, mineral buildup, known as calcification, is a common problem in marine environments, occurring due to the presence of minerals in the water, primarily calcium carbonate. Over time, these minerals accumulate inside the toilet piping systems, forming a hard, crusty layer that restricts water flow and increases the likelihood of blockages. Maintenance of boat toilet systems typically involves regular cleaning and flushing to remove debris and build up. Additionally, using specialized cleaning solutions or vinegar-based ones can help dissolve and prevent that very calcification. Inspecting and replacing worn-out seals and gaskets, as well as ensuring proper ventilation, are also important maintenance tasks to prevent leaks and odors. By staying proactive with maintenance, sailors can prolong the lifespan of their toilet system and avoid costly repairs while out at sea. This is the job. <laughs> uh, not for the faint-hearted. We certainly were not going to be doing this. We have some. We've had a few issues with the the toilets and stuff. So we got the professionals in. I think it's just as well. I assure you now. Dun, dun, dun. Ah. The whole toilet had to be taken out. The pipes over time get calcified and just crystallizes so they have to go in now and take out the whole cupboard to get in at the back. Apparently it needs to be done every five years or so. So yeah, we certainly wouldn't have known what to be doing. See, there's all the piping and stuff in there as well. <laughs> Definitely not for us to do. And that's all our toiletries out on the bed. <laughs> The toilet doesn't need as much work done. There is a holding tank, so they're gone off to get the spare parts, and we'll have fresh toilets. So the guys are going off to get some piping for the toilets and some new jogger valves. Uh, they're like a one-way valve. That can be an issue on nearly all toilets. When Martin was googling it, that's kind of one of the main things that came up. Uh, so they were trying to clean them, but they just said, "No, look, they're gone stiff." And we said, "No, go get new ones." Um, it's not worth kind of doing all that work and not replacing all the bits and bobs. It's so tricky like for them to even get into the bat the head downstairs. You know, they have to take off the door. Everywhere it's just such a tight fit that uh, you need to move stuff around everywhere to try and get in. So yeah, by the end of the day we should have some nice fresh smelling toilets. Hopefully. Okay. Miss Trinity crew, hard at work. Say hi crew. Hi crew. <laughs> Hi crew. Hi crew. Hi crew. Taylor is so sophisticated. So this is behind the scenes people. <laughs> so we're in trying to open the sea valves that were all changed last year according to the seller. Yeah. But they're all seized up and old, right? Also we can see here the power of the uh, yeah. loop. Mm -hmm. The motor, yeah. You see these cables, yeah. These cables we use uh, on uh, on speakers. Oh, I know the type of copper cable. No, that, that's the wrong type, right? Yes, from where they feed. So he used the speaker cable for the motor, yeah, to bring the power here. Yeah. Yeah. Look at some of the pipes that we took out. What a calcification. Let's see on this end. It's pretty bad. Yeah. Oh, this one's heavy. Oh yeah, look at that. That's why we're not good. Yeah, that looks about right. Oh. <laughs> I just did my own. Uh, oh, you did them, did you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Jesus. That wasn't great. Boat smells so bad, <laughs> but it's okay. It's a means to an end. Less money, because I'll get the pipes. I can't say the P word. You heard it here last. So the two amazing, great, fabulous workmen have left. It's now time to put all of this back.
in there. I'd like to believe I'm very capable of doing so. We had a good day today. I'm really glad we got so much done in the bush. But yes, it's time to deal with the aftermath of the fixes and DIYs. Little did we know, our triumphant toilet repairs would soon be interrupted by a chaotic evening rescue operation, courtesy of an unexpected surge of extreme gusts threatening to take out Bimini. Comrades, roll out. We can't even hear me. We're trying to decide whether or not we should take the Bimini down. It's really cold as well. I just got a daily review and notification saying how to say. You got this. Are you on clip? Yeah. Open the knot. Go. Go. Yeah. Just had to quickly. Decent sent to the boom, so I'm just at the boom right now. I have to get the main sheet back in. I have to bring the main sheet back in, yeah? Yeah. Finish on this cold. Yeah. Where's the rope? Oh, here we go. We just had to throw all of our ropes, excuse the mess. Oh my god, I just realized that I had that pause and wasn't recording. I am knackered. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, weary traveler. Welcome to my inn. Dude. Well, no future. No, something to get blown off. Mommy, here you go. Whoa. Hi, bye. Jesus, I would have lost the bimini. That's, that's gusting the 40-50. Well, that woke me up. So silly me. Although I still thought to record during that stressful encounter. I did not have record on. I had it half on, but on this, these phones you can like pause the recording or stop them and the buttons are right next to each other and I was stressed, so sorry. Basically, Martin and Sharon mother came in around the side and they, you know, I, I sent to the boom and everything and they, they ran to get um, a, a rope, a piece of spare rope that we had to actually wrap around the bimini. Like it looks like a piece of rotisserie meat for Christmas. But I'm glad we did that. There's a fork. Somehow I don't think we're gonna get lost. Look at the flags, look at the flags. Jesus, what's left of them? There'll be nothing left of them in the morning. <laughs> Well and truly, done and dusted. Far out. <gasps> this is the front. Gosh, the noise of it. That's insane. Look, this is our, this is our oh. Italian crossing. <laughs> and this is the front. 32 knots. That's a little bit gusting to higher than that. It's, oh, it's so gusting more than that. 32. Yeah, the gusts, it's because it's a gale, you right? Are kidding yeah. me? Well, it's a gale for sure. Yeah. In future, I think we'll just tie the bimini down straight oh, off, hey? Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. If it's going to forecast for about 20, we'll take it down. Yeah, but if we had solar panels on that, then you're not going to be able to do that. Right, so so, so that's another thing to be thinking well, about, we'll huh? We'll be doing that then. Yeah. So, our sure. lesson for it. A lesson for a Saturday night is when there's a bit of a forecast of wind, tie the bimini down. Take the bimini down. No. <laughs> we tie the bimini down, sport. <laughs> End of program. <laughs> anyway, we survived the night just about. Really? Layla came in and slept with us. <laughs> Still lying. I just came in about she 10 was minutes so, ago. She was so scared she had to come in and sleep with her mommy and her daddy. <laughs> Okay, so obviously, beep, 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 lie detector, <laughs> because I didn't get any sleep. It was bad. <laughs> it was pretty noisy. Pretty noisy. 
The sun's up today, it's still quite grey though. Oh, I've never heard anything like that. I'm a really deep sleeper, and I always said I bet I could sleep through a hurricane. A bit of hyperbole, you know, that's all it was. Because I definitely wouldn't have slept through anything of the sort. <laughs> the flags are still there. Oh, it's a bit freezing. I'm still swaying a good bit. And let's do the work we did with the bimini last night. Ropes all over the place to tie it down. Yeah, uh, but some people that we know were actually out on anchor. Pretty scary for them. But yeah, we survived the night. Just about. <laughs> Just about in one piece. Oh, I'm gonna batten the hatches again. It's bloody freezing and the rain's coming down again. Put the coffee on. I mean, if I fly scaldy before. They're definitely scaldy now. I mean, it's bordering sacrilege, to be honest. With our patriotic integrity in question, there's no time like the present to end this video. Well, folks, that's all we have this week. An episode of rescue missions, it would seem. Some unnecessary, some unpleasant smelling, and others undeniably funny. How do you think we did in the midst of nature's prowess? Let us know in the comments below. Join us next episode as we explore the traditions of Greek folklore and pay homage to St. Nicholas, the Lord of the Sea. Are you ready? We can't wait to escape the ordinary with you. See you there, guys.